12 days ago, Yelena Nikolaevna Razumovskaya passed away. She was a renowned folklorist from St. Petersburg, working more than three decades, basically in the Usviate rayon of the Pskov Oblast, at the border to Belarus. Most of all, she was a great humanist. Yelena Nikolaevna uh, was born in one of the most uh, oppressive uh, regimes in the 20th century uh, worldwide. And she knew this and she shared her experience of what uh, communism as a reality is and what it means particularly to the rural population. She shared these uh, impressions with her students, sometimes whose parents even didn't dare to raise uh, these issues. She was a great uh, humanist and she educated many renowned folklorists and ethnomusicologists, including my informal mentor Alexander Ramadin. I was privileged uh, to since 1989 uh, to take part in his uh, fieldwork uh, together with the members of the Ensemble Studio, Studia St. Petersburg. So this was my way to ethnomusicology, to, uh, to fieldwork. And I will always remember the open-minded character, the independent character of Yelena uh, Nikolaevna. She was a great person for many great persons. She's the kind of people a uh, Russian would need now, badly. With such people like Yelena Nikolaevna, with more of such people, Contemporary Russia would be a different country. We are missing her very much. May she rest in peace. Я заранее прошу всех рейсоветчиков, поклонников режима и тех, кто поддерживает или оправдывает войну против Украины, выключить видео. Я с вами одним воздухом дышать не могу, а музыка, физически говоря, это тоже воздух. I want to play to the memory of Yelena Nikolaevna a piece from the Pskov region on this reconstructed Russian bagpipe. It looks funny, this instrument, doesn't it? But it is not only for joyful music, for dance music, but also for the serious uh, genres connected with the tragic moments in human life, which Yelena Nikolaevna devoted so many of uh, her studies 